back. Today, we continue to tell stories that inspire change, push boundaries, and promote hope. Joining me in the studio today is Hope Rises founder, Kate Glazer. Thank you so much for coming back in. Thank you, Chelsea. We're and so excited to be here today. Sh share who you brought with you yes. today. Yes, we have Sandra from Favor Drop. We have Aubrey from the City Mission, and we have Chef Darian, who everyone knows. And <laughs> we are so excited to be here today because there's a great initiative coming up this week for the City Mission. We are delivering over 100 meals to the City Mission, and Sandra can tell us all about why we're doing that. Yes, thank you, Kate. I'm just so happy to be here. And the reason why is to help honor, celebrate, and give thanks to mm -hmm. the wonderful staff of the Buffalo City Mission, not only for what you do every day, but especially for what everyone endured during the Buffalo Blizzard. Oh, yes. The fact that people were separated from their families and loved ones during the holidays for days mm -hmm. on end, and without hesitation, stepped up to make sure everyone at the shelter was completely <laughs> safe and happy. Yes. And it's leading with kindness, which is what Favor Drop is all about. So Favor Drop is a digital gifting and giving platform where yes, great experiences are shared, but ultimately our hope is to help nurture the relationship between people and the community-based businesses that they love. And as a Buffalo-based startup here locally, we hope to uh, support everyone we can and uplift the city, create a better Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And we're proud to have partners with the same mission of giving, such as Chef Darian and Hope Rises, to make events like this even possible. Oh, so, awesome. so this week there are going to be 100 meals like this delivered to the city mission. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for the city mission, Aubrey? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, we always look at our staff as the frontline staff. I mean, every day we're trying to make sure that we can save lives. Bottom line, that's what we do. We help transform lives. We help provide hope to those that are less fortunate. And they are the most vulnerable population in our city. So we're excited for this wonderful group <laughs> of individuals that are willing to give back. And our staff, because of how they work so hard, especially even during the storm. I mean, the st we opened up our doors to everybody. We had people that were stranded on the 33 yeah. that came in and we just opened up our doors as if it was their home and really gave them you know that hope and that welcoming that they needed and Buffalo is the city of good neighbors right yes. that's who we are and the Buffalo City Mission is the beacon of light in that city of good neighbors so our staff are going to enjoy this yes. wonderful meal where they can be celebrated and recognized at the same time for what they do each and every day because they sacrifice themselves to give to others and that's what all of you you represent mm -hmm. is providing hope and giving back to the community. So a heartfelt thanks from myself and all of our staff. We just can't wait to be able to bite in and taste this <laughs> wonderful food tomorrow. We are very excited. So Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, and I'm biting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right in. You can be the first one. <laughs> it's looking really good. It's hard to focus. It's amazing too. Now, when did you jump on board and how, how did you get part of this initiative? So Favor Drop reached out to me and I'm like, instantly I think I see the mission because those guys mean so much to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm gonna give back to these folks whenever I can. So every year I go there, I do like a dinner mm -hmm. for all the residents and also the community too because you know, those folks mean a lot and the employees, the staff and the residents. You're good people, man. So mm -hmm. Buffalo is my home. They're my people. Uh -huh. And it's all love. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't mention that this is actually 007 Chinese food, authentic mm -hmm. dim sum. Yes. So yes. that was something that they were displaced after the West Side Bazaar fire. And um, now they have a home in Hamburg, right, mm -hmm. Sandra? Yes, at our previous global corporate headquarters. <laughs> startup in the village of Hamburg. <laughs> uh, we have the space available and what we do is we want to have every opportunity to give back when we can and so we're happy to see them succeed and if you have the chance go visit them down in Hamburg. The food is fantastic. Amazing. I was there for the grand opening too so I was actually making a few of these. Yeah and they, make you were it saying so they easy, made it look right? easy. <laughs> Man I was here for like 10 minutes trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> Thank you. Now, is there anything else coming up with Favor Drop or Buffalo City? We have more to come this May, which we're really excited about, um, working alongside Hope Rises. And we'll be doing an event um, for the May tragedy, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be having gift boxes available oh. at a couple of locations down in Hamburg so people can make donations and, again, help create Buffalo to be the best it can be. It's wonderful.
That's and, great. And what, what's going on with Buffalo City Mission? Well, I always something. <laughs> there's, there's never a dull moment with, with the mission, but you know, we're just excited to be able to celebrate our folks as much as possible. And I know we just had Chef Darian in, and we had the Buffalo Bills coaches in last month, and it was just an exciting time. Our residents, women and children and men, love it when people come just to um, provide their love and giving back to the community. It's, it's truly exceptional. And I know we'll be having other events, especially in May with Mother's Day and mm -hmm. doing a lot for our women and children at Cornerstone because a third of our women and children come to us through domestic violence. Yeah. So it's an opportunity where we can uplift our mothers mm -hmm. um, and then they can also be able to showcase how they can become those women of inspiration for their children. And that's what May will represent at the Buffalo City Mission. So we're excited. We really are. Yeah, we really awesome. are. So the event is tomorrow at what time? 1.30. We're yes. dropping off these yes. 100, over 100 meals that are going to go to all the staff and the men's shelter and mm -hmm. probably some spillover into other areas of the city mm -hmm. mission, oh, right? Oh, exactly. The one thing that we can do is also is helping with community that comes in our doors each and every day. So what is left over, we want to be able to share the love. Yeah. So if there's food that's left over, our residents will be able to experience uh, this wonderful showcase of blessing and, and hope in another way. And trust me, they like to be able to experience different foods, and that's one thing that Chef Darian always brings to the table. Yeah, um, when he comes, I know, because I'm in the elevator coming down, and I can smell <laughs> the wonderful food, and I'm just like, okay, Chef Darian is in the house. It's going to be so a great time. We're so yes. excited for you. You absolutely deserve Thank this, you. all of your staff. Thank, Thank you. you guys for the incredible Thank you for everything that you guys yes. do. Thank and you. 007. Our heart goes out to them yeah, as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, 007, and thank you all of you guys. Still to come on Daytime Buffalo, Morluski's Restaurant is in the kitchen to show us what they're whipping up today. You don't want to miss it.